Hi, hello guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create an event in your CRM that will go across to your Soho Backstage. Now, to the final step of setting up the Soho Backstage, we're going to go back to your settings and find the Soho under the Marketplace and click Setup Now under the Soho Backstage, then you get started. And in here, we're going to choose the portal with that we have created and it's the CRM and click enable and in here we're going to choose the module where we are going to pick or choose the attendees from now attendee here is by leads now we're going to change it by contacts and click update and that's it we already set up your Soho Backstage and in creating an event, we're going to go to your module campaigns then create a campaign then select Soho Backstage now in here we're gonna fill up the information about your event that will happen so for example we're going to give a name for that event let's say the event will be a music festival that will will start on May May 15, 2024 at 8am in the morning up to also at May 15, it will end on May 15, 2024, the same day, but the time is 8 p.m. So it isn't a 12 hour event. Um, the language would be English, it's an universal language, and event type is an online event. The music festival will be an online event. Then brand is default space, and I think we have filled out the important information about your event. And here in the description, let's say it's an online music festival. Then go to save. Oh, there's another mandatory category. It's about entertainment and humor. Then hit save. So if there was an event, there is also attendees. So a while ago, we have set up that the attendees will be coming from the context module. Then we're going to add some prospects that would be possibly attending the event. Then we're going to go here in the related list, contacts, then invite prospects. But first, we have to configure the tickets of your event. Now, in this link, this will take us in our Soho Backstage to configure the ticket. Now you see that the event that we have created in CRM is now available here in the Soho Backstage. Now by clicking this, it will take us to your dashboard of that event. Now you can see that there are ticket sales, zero registration, there's no registration yet. And the remaining days before the event is also shown in your dashboard. Now it is, this will allow us to create and configure the ticket. Uh, in here registration under registration go to add ticket class uh, we will now fill up the information about the ticket let's say music festival 2024 online music festival that's better 2024 and the status is open the quantity 
or the attendees that will set is let's say for example is 100 let's say this event will be a free event for everyone now we will sail set the sale start date so before the event the start date that the ticket will be available will be April 27 at 9 a.m. in the morning and the end date will be May 8 or May 10 and will be end at exactly 12 p.m. in the afternoon If you click this event end date, and now it says that the availability of the ticket will be on this on the said end date. And if you click now, the start date of the availability sales will start, of course, today. But we have just set our sales start date and our end date of ticket buying in description. Let's say music ticket free ticket ticket visibility in event website it's now we will set the visibility of the ticket in the website let's say it will hide when ticket sales are sold out or mark as sold out let's click then now every changes that you make in your event here in the Soho backstage you're gonna publish and republish and republish it again once you have changed everything or anything about your event then click republish and you will republish it again and it will make another website URL and hooray your event is published Now this is the status of your event. It says that it's yet to start because in the dashboard of your of your event, the remaining days before the event is 29, 21 days. So after setting up everything here in the Soho Backstage, we'll go back again to the CRM and see if we are now able to add some prospects or attendees to our event. Let's go to the CRM. Now you can see that the tickets are already configured, events are published, and finally we can now invite prospects. Let's go to invite prospects. Now we will be inviting prospects from the contacts module itself. Then hit click invite prospects. We only get one contact in the contacts module so we're going to check this out and click next to invite that contact and we will set a status for that member let's say invited we will just invite here for now now that record has been successfully invited and after that an email of invitation will be sent to the contact that we have just invited now we will check if this contact receives an email from the invitation of the event let's check the email now there is a an email received by the contact let's open this one and it says that there's a musical fest, music festival an invitation. Hi, Johnny, an organizer of music festival is interested in inviting you to the event. Now we're gonna click sign me up. And the subscription is confirmed. And so the contact will register to the event. And here he will purchase a ticket. Let's say a one ticket for the event. and click continue 
and he's gonna fill up the information let's say Johnny Carpenter email is Johnny at the CRM Carpenters phone is company name is Carpenters designation is uh, assistant then click continue then registration is successful now after that contact has registered to the event its service status in the CRM will change from invited to yet to check in so uh, he just registered but the status is yet to check in and that contact will receive an mail about registration confirmation with its registration details and he if and he he clicks sign in now that link will take him to the event and what if the event is happening right now it's just a couple of minutes from now and the event will start he will then gives the capability of choosing a profile picture for his personal information about joining the event then if he already fill up the information gonna click done and click check in so that contact has checked into the event and let's see the dashboard of that event now the dashboard tells that there is a number of one registration zero days to the event we have changed the event from happening on may to today so what is the status of this person who has just registered now from yet to check in he just check in now the status of that attendee will change to check in now we will look at the CRM if the status of that contact has also changed now try to refresh and we will check the status of that attendee now you can see that the service status of that attendee is from yet to check in now change to check in because he is already now in the event he has entered the event of the musical festival and so that's, ju that's just how easy you set up the Soho backstage down to creating an event and navigating the dashboard and setting up ticket configuring everything and publishing the event that will have a connection to your CRM down to your Soho backstage thank you for watching this video see you again for more videos